Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. This is the third and last video of the Namak haul. These are all loose cars I bought, mostly mint, some near mint. Usually I don't buy a lot of loose cars at the Namak event because they ask 2 to 3 euro for loose cars often and um, often those cars are not worth that and you can find them carded for less so there's no point in buying those but uh, this time I found a few sellers that had some interesting cars for sale for one or two euro so that's why I got a bunch of them I'm going to start with the two euro cars that were all worth it I think I got a bunch of Ferraris I will always buy a Ferrari that is reasonably, reasonably priced so that was the case with these this is the 308 Turbo 1977 copyright metal on metal the Ferrari logo and 308 Turbo on the side nothing on the back next up we've got this one this is the 348 sorry uh, 1990 copyright this has a plastic base not the prettiest one not my favorite model either then we got this one this is the five the F512M Ferrari 512 Modificato 1997 copyright metal on metal just got the Hot Wheels logo on the back in the front the Ferrari logo and then my favorite of these Ferraris the 355 Spider metal on metal also 99 copyright very nice blue color the Ferrari logo on the front and that's about it and just the Hot Wheels logo here these were all very dirty I had to clean them up big time to get this interior looking spick and span I prefer the uh, coupe version not the convertible of this car but you know that's okay and it looks good in blue I think this is a casting I also wanted to find for a while this is a uh, Corgi casting that Hot Wheels has released the 911 SC Targa so you can see that it's a different style than the, the Hot Wheels style got a license plate metal wing here the Hot Wheels logo is on the rear window then I found this gem this is a Hot Wheels 100% release uh, there's only two versions of it there's this one and then there's one with reverse colors so a blue one with a gray or silver stripe and silver he silver headlights this is metal on metal it's got a black metal base 2001 copyright these exhausts are plastic rubber tires of course lots of detail all around got a two-tone dashboard very nice one and then I got another Hot Wheels this is from the Hot Wheels Whips series the Team Bartwell New School this one is, has a 1999 copyright Chevy Suburban also got the rubber tires this is a really big casting for a uh, the Hot Wheels so this seems to be in actual 164 scale that's how big it is so it has lots of details full find then 
I got this Ravel Beetle, classic Beetle, rubber tires, got the uh, opening engine cover, got this one carded so now I don't have to open it up anymore, I can leave it carded because I have this one loose, so that's cool. And then the last one of the two euro ones is this Maisto 2005 Chrysler 300C Hemi. So I collect the 300C and I was missing this one. I found a white one carded but it was 10 euro. So I didn't want to spend that. I'm happy with this one. Rubber tires also. This is more like a 155 scale than 164. Really detailed interior. Then we go to the one euro ones. Another 300C Hot Wheels version 2005 copyright. So I already have the uh, plastic body metal base version and now I have a metal body plastic base, base version. So not a huge fan of the wheels but you know it is what it is. Got a bunch of these vans. Can't remember what this van is called. These are only in the premium series anymore because there's a lot of metal on them in them. And then I got this version. I got some cobras. So this is metal on metal, 1982 copyright. Shelby Cobra or AC Cobra. Opening metal hood or bonnet. I also got this kind of an army version. This one has a plastic base. And this casting that I don't have yet. This is the Acura NSX. 828, so that's 2008 release. Um, Everywhere else in the world we know this as a Honda NSX, but in the United States it's an Acura. It does have a right-hand drive. It's a right-hand drive version, so it actually should be called Honda NSX. So there's two versions of this model by Hot Wheels. There's one that just has a metal, a lower metal spoiler doesn't have this thing on it so this is more of a racing version so I'm glad I have both of them now and we got some limousines this is the Hot Wheels limousine 1990 copyright island tours deco so this might have been from a five pack or something very nice blue color also a detailed interior I like to collect limousines, that's why I also bought this Matchbox limousine, 2001 copyright. This has the uh, 50th anniversary sticker, so they celebrated the 50th anniversary in 2002 instead of 2003, and the first 50,000 cars got a sticker on them.
another Shelby so that's about the fourth Shelby we see here the GT500 convertible 2007 model 2007 copyright 164 it's a B17 so 2009 release I have a bunch of these I like to collect it I think it's a cool one then also got a majorette so it was one euro for the vehicle and one euro for the trailer it came without the animals in the trailer I just put those in um, so give it a little extra so this is the Toyota Land Cruiser it just says 4x4 Toyota on the base 153 no 55 scale no 53 it's a 53 scale no suspension it's from the uh, Pinder Circus this cage uh, probably came with an elephant but I don't have an elephant I have a bunch of animals by Majorette but uh, the elephant I do not have uh, you can also fit some gorillas in there these will fit you can also fit this tiger in there but this giraffe uh, giraffe sorry this zebra uh, will not fit in there it's too tall then I found this Siku surprisingly it's got uh, well, maybe I show the base first it's in A4 Avant 2.5 TDI Quattro so this one very interesting never seen it before it's got rubber tires it's got authentic wheels it's got lensed headlights it's got lensed taillights it's got opening doors it's got a bicycle rack on the back it is probably missing a bike on it and it's got a roof top box that opens up I showed a um, majorette Citroën C4 Cactus recently from the Explorer series in my Citroën video that also had that feature uh, but apparently they were in the first and Seiko was the first to do that on this one probably or maybe earlier on I don't know but this was a cool find station wagon completely decked out with everything you can find on it for only one euro yeah that's a great find and then we get to some more obscure stuff but I still like it nonetheless this is a no brand tow truck just says made in China gun towing truck but it's in perfect condition it uh, resembles a uh, Japanese truck so if it's in good condition and it's functional functional I will add it to my tow truck collection and also got this Citroën CX2200 made in Hong Kong this is a tin toys very basic metal body plastic base but I liked it nonetheless and it fits on the hook of the tow car though it sits a little bit low because you can see the front wheels roll too that's okay then found this one this is the second version of this one I have now I have a blue one and this is a metallic dark gray or black version this is a Zilmax Volvo 760 GLE it does have suspension very basic version of the Volvo 760 not as detailed as for instance the Matchbox and Majorette version they have a uh, quite a big collection of Volvo 760s so glad to add this one to the collection even with the hole in the trunk or boot 
and then the last two are there's a model that I've been looking for a long time this is a Dicky Toys Volvo XC60 it's almost impossible to find and I'm glad I found it even though they're a little bit rough but it's got nice detail not hard to see here in the back and in the front this one might be better to see the Volvo name XC60 on the trunk lid the tail lights the door handles headlights grill Volvo logo so the casting is nice just the wheels let it down heavily they're too small because it makes it look like a station wagon but it's an SUV so it should have nicer and bigger wheels but the casting itself and even the interior is very nicely done so that's it for this video I thank you very much for watching um, to those of you who always comment on my videos thank you very much uh, I know I'm way behind on answering your comments um, I will do that as soon as I can it's just been busy lately um, and I also uh, will be watching and commenting on your videos so um, thank you very much for that and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.